Yes, a good, a good evening to everyone present here. I am going to present about the topic about improving livelihood of farmers through spot farming. In today's scenario, spot farming, we have came across many things that spot farming, the IoT, Internet of Things, and everything. So the spot farming is development that emphasizes the use of information communication technology in the cyber physical form and cycle, which we simply represents about the green, third green revolution, which is the application of advanced precision farming technology. Internet of the data, robotics, uh, information communication technology systems, which is a, which we made into the existing farming system, aiming to increase the production efficiency and quality of the agriculture produce. Before that, uh, the smart farming is also a, uh, which also plays a role for the farmers to to enhance their life skills and also uh, it also improves the quality of the life of the farm workers by reducing their heavy labor and tedious tasks. So then. Uh, for, uh, in our study, we are going to see about this uh, cyber, cyber physical management of smart farming. This is smart farming, which is about the plan, analysis, planning, and making the control. These uh, these all databases were recorded. There be the farmers can benefit in a better way. For this example, we can take a better form of cyber. This is this is based on the US based one. This is founded by by the people. This was founded in 2014 as started. In this network, the overall 30,000 farmers are enrolling here. These farmers, um, this network will uh, giving the opportunities about crop protection, that is quality herbicides, insecticides and fung fungicides at a fair price. Then they are giving us a seed that is developed to maximize their return on investment, that is from organic to the traded varieties. Then uh, livestock based uh, also, also they are giving. Then this is very useful for the farmers to, uh, to to enhance their production in a better way, and the this this former business network also financing the land equipment operating expense and margin loan offerings also, and crop marketing. In crop marketing, they, they are mainly giving about grain market advocacy and brokerage services also they are offering, and in insurance they are mainly mainly concentrating on variety of coverage options to to protect their farm and also their families. Then this former business network will create and many impact to the farmers to to have a better standard of living the same way we are going to apply in in our study in india in tamil nadu we can take uh, we have taken about the 50 farmers through the um, with the help of the mobitech company and the farmers are adoption in this in our generation the farmers have adopted the micro irrigation technology in western tamil nadu in this um, farmers also adopted mobile based application system which is connected to the motors here the farmers has been adopted in the crops like uh, sugarcane turmeric and coconut the, then the the benefit they have is less labor in the here the since uh, the short labor shortage is the, the major uh, major problem in uh, in the in our country uh, to sorry to produce the crops, then it helps to save the time and also they can be able to engage in the uh, other activities. And it also increasing the yield and gives better quality. Then here the maintenance cost also reduced. Then it helps to reduce the issues at the time of the harvest. Then it's uh, giving the instant notification recording the device and the under and, and also the reduction of water uses. These are the benefits which is uh, to, which was uh, told by the sampled farmers. The sampled farmers also feeling about their their their, their own manpower is also getting reduced. Then the major concerns they are facing here is uh, um, network default. Then since the the uh, since here uh, everyone is from the rural area, they are uh, the, the the way of network sharing is is a very problem. Then it's uh, due to damages due to lightning. That is for. for on, on some lightning, uh, many damages is occurring on day by day. Then the lack of knowledge there is operating technology that is many farmers are aware about this technology, but they are not uh, known in a proper in a proper way. This, this and also uh, it, they are adopting enough. Uh, many of the farmers are adopting in a in a partially only. That is, they are adopting the drip system and also the uh, through fertigation. But here they are they are not able to adopt through the uh, mobile based uh, application based system. That is the main reason is they can't be able to operate it at instantly and, uh, and also they are just uh, operating through manually only. Uh, through these operations, their time is reducing and not at, an, uh, at all stages. As we, as we see the example above, that the form of business network, they are giving everyone at a small farming based system in, a, in an instant way, but here it's adopting only 10% of the, the 
among them the 10% of the farmers are only adopting in a full full way but some of the farmers are adopting in a partial way and also they are not not able the they are not aware about the technology in frequent software problems since the software they have the developing of the software is also the they are not known in a proper way then here i higher investment initial investments that is here the farmers so many of the farmers are coming from a small background from they are, they are having approximately only 5 to 6 5 to 8 acres only of the land in the in, in, in the period they so that they are going for family then uh, the other system here we are seeing is put small dish support system this is the data analytics that is for a this is in this data analytics the in i in internet of things it helps to store the previous data and that by it helps to analyze the prediction of data that is in the previous um, what are in the previous the climate changes is one of the here the climate change is also one of the important criteria for the farmers to choose the right crop so that by uh, through this uh, through this iot and data analytics it helps the farmers to to analyze the crop and also there by they can be able to do it in a better way but here the 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 other thing they are mentioning about is um the second thing that they are the every farmer is mentioning about is that they can't able to choose it the right way through this uh, smart addition support system we can able to the farmers can able to know the value of their produce and they can they can they need not to sell at the time of the harvest they can even to sell based on the demand and the supply uh, when arise it then the impact of strategy from my main farmers were aware about the smart farming but not known in a proper way since they are adopting every technology and also every every scheme that is releasing by the government and they are aware about it but they are not able to adopt in a proper way then many farmers are able to know, know to identify the opportunities to do in a better way but they can't able to reach it by then it helps to identify the farmers uh, defects easily thank you thank you